hi there friends welcome back here in this lesson you are going to learn about optimization techniques till now we have learned about cost function activation function and a lot of other things which are related to the neural network now we know that neural network consists of interconnected nodes called neurons okay and they are organized into layers now each neuron has some weights and some biases which will going to determine its behavior okay during you know whenever we're going to build a neural network we need to train that neural network with some labeled train data sets okay now at the initial point we put a random value to the weights and to the biases and as soon as the training process started starts and it will start adjusting the value of these weights and the biases that is why they are also known as the learning parameter because we are adjusting the values of weights and the values of the biases and why we are doing it so that the value which are predicted by the neural network is somehow closer to the actual value okay and the difference between the actual value and the predictive value is known as the cost functions which we have already learned about it okay now suppose we have learned about the activation function okay which will introduce the non-linearity into you know into our neural network output now suppose this is a graph as you can see on my uh, on my screen it is u-shaped graph this is a perfect example for the non-linear graphs and now as i said that we're going to put some random values to our weights and the biases suppose it is over here now we need to make it to come over here this point where you can uh, say it as the, lo uh, the local minima where we're going to have very less value of the cost function it is where uh, your predicted value the value coming from the neural network is somehow near is somehow similar to the actual value so how we need to do that we're going to use this optimization technique this gradient descent is the way in order to minimize the cost function so we're going to take some small steps okay and these small steps are basically known as the learning rate sometimes it will be bigger sometimes it will be smaller it will adjust accordingly okay now it doesn't know that where is the local minima is there so if there might be a situation you are going from this direction uh, we are decreasing the value decreasing the value and then suddenly the value start increasing the difference you know is start increasing so we need to adjust our learning parameter in such a way that it converts to the local minima so this is how it works okay so this is the example which you have to understand that how this gradient descent works how this optimization techniques works so basically optimization technique is basically we're going to optimize the neural network the the, the adjustment of the learning parameters are called optimization techniques now we have multiple uh, optimization techniques let me just describe three of the most popular optimization technique the very first one is stochastic uh, optimization technique then we have the batch optimization technique and then we have mini batch optimization technique these three are very much popular so in the case of the batch optimization techniques what we are going over here see and there is something which makes different to other optimization optimization techniques so in the case of the batch optimization technique we are passing the whole data set all together and once all the data set are evaluated by our neural network then it will going to adjust the value of the weights and the biases but in the case of the stochastic what will going to happen after every iteration it will going to adjust the values of the weights and the biases so both are doing in the different order okay so here in the case of batch way the batch optimization technique it will going to take long period of time whereas in the case of stochastic it won't take so much time it would be somehow faster as compared to the uh, batch optimization technique but you know uh, this batch is very much helpful if you have a very small data set because if it is you know small it will be process the data and adjust the value very fastly so you can consider uh, another variant of this batch which is mini batch where instead of putting whole data set 
whole training data set into one go we're going to uh, you know uh, choose a batch size and that batch size will going to do the same thing which we are doing with the batch optimization technique so one after that batch is completed then we're going to adjust the values of the learning parameter and make our new network more accurate just reducing the cost function so this is the whole process how it works okay so i hope it is clear to you that uh, what the relationship between the optimization technique and the cost function you might be knowing that or not that when i was discussing about cost function i have narrated that that cost functions guide the optimization technique in order to make the neural network more accurate okay so this they are somehow very very connected to each other okay so this is all about uh, the process of optimization and the cost function and the activation function how all they work together so in the next lesson we're going to learn about different types of optimization techniques how to implement them here we have understand the concepts in the next video we're going to implement those optimization techniques so till then keep learning keep exploring and stay motivated